What is a database in Microsoft Access? A computer database is a program that lets you store, organize, and manipulate data. Databases are great for storing large amounts of information. You can use a database to organize that information by generating different reports and queries. You can use a database to manipulate the data and actually make changes to it. In the days before computers, data would be stored on paper, usually in ledger books or on index cards. For example, to keep track of your customers, you'd make a series of index cards with one customer per card. You'd have a separate drawer of cards for the products that you sold or the suppliers that you did business with. However, as efficient as this may have seemed at the time, it was very time consuming to sort through the cards or to search through a large drawer of cards for some particular bit of information. When the first computers came along, the earliest databases were really nothing more than glorified text documents. They were great for storing information, and they certainly made searching and sorting easier. However, they lacked many features we take for granted today, such as the ability to recognize relationships between the different types of data. For example, you could have a list of customers with some basic details, but if you want to look up information on their purchases, you would have to look in a different file. The earliest databases had no way to relate this information together. This creates many problems, including having multiple copies of the same information in different places, such as the customer's name and address. Updating all that information can be a nightmare. Fortunately, Microsoft Access does recognize relationships, and that's one of its strong points, but much more on that later. The next progression was for people to store their data in spreadsheets like Microsoft Excel. Excel is a great tool for storing small amounts of information and for analyzing data, but when it comes to large amounts of information, using Excel can be cumbersome. If you've got more than a few hundred rows of data, you really should be using an Access database. Plus, Excel has the same problem that early databases did. It's not relational. There's no way to link your customers to their orders or products to their suppliers and so on. In addition, Excel can be difficult for novice users to work with. If you don't know how to use Excel, finding the information that you want can be daunting. Whereas with Access, you can build a nice user-friendly interface for beginners to easily find their way around. Plus, it's much easier to secure an Access database than an Excel spreadsheet to keep people from messing with data they shouldn't be playing with. With an Access data, you can control exactly what people can do in your program. So this brings us finally to the modern database. In my opinion, Microsoft Access is the best desktop database application available. An Access database can store large amounts of data much more efficiently than Microsoft Excel or a simple text document. Access databases are also relatively easy to set up compared to other database platforms. An Access database can recognize relationships between your data. For example, if you keep track of customers and their orders, you can store all of your customer details in one place and all of their order information in another place. Access can relate those two together so you don't need lots of redundant information copied throughout your database. You don't need to, for example, copy all of the customer's information to each order that he places. The database can track that for you automatically. One of the problems with spreadsheets and older database applications is that you have little or no control over what kinds of information get put into your database fields. With Access, you can specify exactly what types of data the user can type into each field. This will prevent, for example, a number where the customer's last name should be, or a four-digit phone number being entered, or a missing zip code. Access gives you strict controls over the structure of your data, and that's a great thing. Yes, it's possible to set up some simple data validation in Excel, but Access is much more powerful. Access is a great tool for you to build databases for other people to work with. You can design a very user-friendly interface so they don't get lost. All of the data entry forms and reports that they need to work with can be presented for them in a nice simple menu. Plus, since you, the developer, control the interface, you can easily secure your database and lock them out of sections they shouldn't see. Sure, there's a little bit of a learning curve to initially get your database set up, 
but once it's built, you will definitely save time in the long run and increase productivity. Now, Access is a great tool by itself, and I've personally built Access databases that have run very small companies with two to five employees and fairly large businesses with hundreds of employees. Access can certainly handle a lot of traffic. However, if you do eventually outgrow your Access database, you don't have to lose all of your work. You can upscale your database to a more powerful back-end database server like Microsoft's SQL Server. You simply send all the tables and the data up to the server, and you can keep the interface you've built, the forms, reports, queries, and so on. You get the rapid application development of Microsoft Access and the power of SQL Server behind it. To learn more about this topic, click on the Show More link in the description area below the video. Find the Learn More link. This will take you directly to related videos on this topic. This video is just a small part of my three-hour Microsoft Access Beginner Level 1 course. Click on the link to the left to watch Access Beginner Level 1 for free. For more videos in the My Path Learning series, click on the playlist in the center. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more free videos and updates. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.